So this concept is from your world. The topic is actually cocaine induced chest pain if you look on the bottom and it is from cardiology section. Um, Alright, the person who is intoxicated with cocaine will have nasal atrophy because most of them are snorting cocaine to the point that they get agitated. Um, they will present with dilated pupils on eye exam and obviously chest pain which is caused because of um, acute myocardial infarction which was induced by cocaine itself. You would see EKG changes. Um, sometimes it could be ST elevation too and it just is variable. There is really no proof as to a very characteristic uh, EKG changes unless there is any new findings that I don't know of um, then please feel free to correct me. Alright, so the next one is, so how does cocaine cause this um, kind of like vasoconstriction in the chest leading to chest pain and thus acute myocardial infarction? What it does is it inhibits the norepinephrine reuptake back into the synapses, um, back from the synapses. So all of the norepinephrine gets accumulated in the synapses and thus you get a sympathetic response stimulating both your alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. As a result of this kind of adrenergic stimulation, you get coronary vasoconstriction and the patient will therefore have increased heart rate and increased systolic blood pressure and the oxygen demand in their heart, in, their myoc in the myocytes of their heart, will go up considerably. How do we try to treat this with nitrates and calcium channel blockers? Why? Because these are the kind of medications that will vasodilate the coronaries and thus relieve the myocardial oxygen demand that we'll, we see here. Um, because of this, the heart will relax and the chest pain will be relieved, just like any other angina. So this sympathetic response not only causes coronary vasoconstriction like we saw on the last slide, it also causes uh, platelet aggregation. Because of this platelet aggregation, there could be a possible formation of a thrombus. I know it sounds very, very weird or very new or novel that a thrombus would, could be caused in cocaine, but this is how they explain it um, in your world and uh, they say that a thrombus formation is possible because of which aspirin proves to be a good medication to uh, get rid of this thrombus. So, any person who uh, presents with cocaine toxicity and with MI, like chest pain, what is the first thing we do? Obviously, give them oxygen. But in addition, you want to give them IV benzos. How do benzos act? And that is also a very novel concept. That cocaine toxicity, IV benzos is the medication of choice. Benzos, they decrease sympathetic outlet. Most of us know that because this patient patients are also agitated and anxious, it also helps to relieve these symptoms. It decreases the uh, cardiovascular system sympathetic response, thus decreasing the blood pressure and thus decreasing the heart rate. However, never, ever, ever, ever use beta blockers because beta blockers are contraindicated in cocaine toxicity. Why? Because beta blockers even if they are cardioselective, they will result into unopposed alpha adrenergic stimulation. And this will make the vasoconstriction even much more worse. This is a table they have posted and I take no credit for this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit this out or what I'm going to do at this point because I um, honestly am doing this to help uh, with the concepts, 
not just for other people and my friends that, um, you know, requested me to share in my school, but also to clear my own concepts. Um, because exp explaining it to other people always makes things clearer for you because I don't claim to be an expert either, um, but I learn from other people um, too. So, but I think sharing will expand my knowledge too. So um, I'm not sure if this would be okay to have in here. It clearly shows you the ID number. It uh, I'm totally coding your world in this slide and the other editions that I have, my personal editions. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much. Bye.